Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you guys on a clean with me but it's a special clean with me. It's one for the first time ever I'm going to take you guys to the dump with me. I'm going to show you guys what we do when we need to get rid of lots and lots of things especially in the outdoor section of our house because there's like so much debris, so much glassware, so much many black bags and recycling that just needs to go. Anyway, I'll take you through that in a second. But my plan today is basically to sort out the living room downstairs. Unfortunately, my son did come back from preschool today um, with conjunctivitis. So basically, uh, they just don't want him in school because it's just so, um, what's the word? I can't believe I forgot the word. It's so contagious. That's the word I was looking for. It's super contagious. So they told him or told us to bring him home, uh, take him home. And basically he is at home for the next 24 hours whilst we do the drops. But it also means that he's downstairs and caused absolute havoc in the living room. And he fell asleep in one of the sofa chairs as well. So I'm going to do like a little clean with me whilst he's sleeping in that very same room as well. So you will see like it's actually crazy because even like the cushions and the actual padding of the sofa is just on the floor everywhere. So I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. But basically what I'm going to do first is because earlier uh, today before Aiden did come home, um, my husband and I actually managed to take a like my husband took a break because he's still working, uh, but basically to help me with the dump. So I'll show you that guys now. But Actually, to give you a bit of an update, um, I'm actually in between jobs, so I've got a week and a half off, so which is really exciting, and I'm starting out my new consultancy um, in March, so that's super amazing, but basically it means I've got some time on my hands, and that's why I thought I'll sort out Aiden's room, so that's why I'm in Aiden's room. I've actually um, added some colour there, I've primed it, I've added colour, and then we're deciding what to do here. I'm going to do some panelling here, but that's for another vlog, and I completely realised that I didn't tell you guys to like and subscribe if you like this content I would absolutely love to do more to give out free content if I can so do like show your appreciation by doing that because I'd also have a full-time job on top of that so anything like even a like really goes a long way so thanks so much for watching and let's get started the first thing that I wanted to show you guys is our dump run so what we did is actually we had some bags sorted in the garden already that we knew we needed to take to the dump a lot of it was to do with recycling so cardboard it's just from like old packaging you know like you get amazon deliveries we used to get like pet food as well in like huge big boxes as well so it was just a matter of like breaking those down or flat packing them and then putting them into orange bags because that's the system of our town which is a little bit annoying because the old place used to be like we used to put it into garbage bins but anyway uh, enough of that I managed to put that into the car um, my other half took all the heavy things from me which is absolutely love lovely of him um, and basically we ended up loading the car as well we had lots of black bin bags to basically um, just get rid of so whether it's household waste or um, I actually did some gardening the other day and didn't have any green bin bags to put it into and we don't have currently a, a brown bin that you would just put like your grass um, and soil and rocks into so uh, at the moment I've just like shoved it all in a black bag just to get it out of the house so the idea is that we put as much as we can into the car and then take it to the dump and you'll see that at the dump there's lots of different sorting uh, there's lots of different containers that you just pop those things into so for example I had lots of wires and like electrical bits that I just popped into one of the big containers by going up the stairs and then shoving it from the top downwards um, and then we just ended up doing that with all the things from glassware uh, to cardboard boxes to the black bin bags as well that just go into the normal waste. So we did really well and that took us like nearly half an hour, so if not less. So we did it really quickly, it was really efficient. We also are very happy with our old selves that sorted out the bags beforehand as well. So 
that's our little dump run i absolutely loved it in the sense that like the house seems just a lot more tidy once that's done so what i'm gonna do next is after i do the living room cleanup is have a look whether i can sort out any other bags to take to the dump next time as well so we do have other things as well like wooden things or whether i can break down this shelving unit that i've got or i might keep it for a bit and because it's been actually kind of useful anyway i'm rambling on but basically the idea is to tidy anything outside that i can see because the weather's getting so much better we're definitely going to start using the outdoor space a lot more cool so let's get to the next task So that was a super quick hoover of my son's room as you saw the flooring is horrific so i can't wait to put the new one in in a couple of weeks time his new bed is also coming in three weeks time so mid-march so can't wait for that to be up and that's why i've been working so hard on like painting his room and everything so hopefully the paneling will be done by then as well and then i also need to do the skirting board but don't worry a video on that will be coming very soon as well so what i'm gonna do now is sweep and then see if there's anything that i can pile up to make it as easy as possible for us next time up so at least it's nice and tidy which is good i we have no idea basically what this brown stuff is any clue let me know in the comments but um basically as you can see i've tried to put some stuff here we'll actually keep this box here 
it's just I've moved it whilst I was sweeping but this box usually our glassware goes into it so we're going to keep it it's very good for that underneath it we can get rid of it like cardboard boxes there's some electrical stuff as well that we've forgotten about or missed out like on this for example a little bit more tricky to get rid of right on this side i was going to explain this i actually want to use underneath my composter but i need another one of those or to use something else is just so that rats don't get underneath the compost bin but i really do want to basically put it at the back of the garden maybe near the shed or in the bushes behind the swing i'm not sure yet any advice is very welcome um so that's what that's for but then there's another plank that's basically just a workbench that uh, granddad used to make this new door which looks so nice and i'm actually going to match that paint color to our shed so i'm going to paint our shed when it gets to nicer weather um and basically this panel we wanted to put that underneath this fence panel and put the new fence panel in which is over here whoops <laughs> my broom just fell so excuse that but basically uh, the fence panel will go there instead it's just i think this one's a little bit shorter but just to make it a little bit like taller to give us a little bit more privacy and then i'm going to paint it the same color green so that it matches with the rest of it then put my fairy lights on and i'll be very very happy we also have some like panels and things and wood basically for granddad so that he can utilize it as he likes he loves woodwork and things like that talking about that actually he made us that bench there the corner bench over here that you can't see as well as i would like but we will sort it basically the old um, trampoline is on there and we do want to put that trampoline up in the next few weeks ready for Aiden's birthday so fingers crossed that gets sorted as well as his room so very much focusing on Aiden our son at the moment uh, as he's coming up to three years old and his new birthday which is so lovely can't believe he's three already uh, this is my old bike um, which I'm not sure what to do with whether to fix it up and then resell it or just to give it away to somebody but then the um, what should we call it the gears don't work very well anyway these guys this is broken it's the old uh, gazebo and what's that some more woodwork I think that's for granddad and then over here I actually did some work the other day with Aiden, uh, just getting ri rid of some roots and things, but my plan is to get rid of this bush. And actually all of these bushes need to go if we're going to do the extension, which should be awesome, which I also realize I've got loads and loads of mess over here too. Black bags, electrical things that we can get rid of. And this is the shelving unit that I was talking about. I don't want to break it just yet because actually I've been spray painting on top of it which has been really handy maybe I could use it as a workbench somewhere but I need to find the space for it because here it just looks really ugly that's pretty much it isn't it do something with the bike I've got a bag here that's full of rocks and things this can probably be thrown away it's horrible old soil and I don't think there's much else really. We need to do a good lawn mowing when it gets a little bit sunnier. And I'll put some grass seeds down because at the moment it looks a little bit patchy where we had like the gazebo and also our dog used to run around and pee in every corner. But basically I think that's about it for here. I'm not gonna bother with anything else. I think I've done a good little clear up let's put the broom back um and let's see what i can do inside was he's still asleep i confess we didn't actually make our bed this morning but we usually don't find there's any point because aiden loves to jump and do little jumping monkeys and pretending it's a trampoline <laughs> which isn't great but there's just no point in making it because as you can see it's just uh, gonna get undone again thank you so much for watching this clean with me a little bit unorthodox with like the whole dump run but it was really useful for us even though for me like i literally did 10 minutes like clear up from uh, the living room to outdoors to upstairs and i just feel so much better when it's like mostly all sorted and also it's just nice to have a tidy home isn't it i'm looking forward to actually doing something here as well i wanted to put some pictures up 
and um, maybe some cross stitching that I'm currently doing as well so just gonna see how that goes but at the moment I'm focusing most if not all of my time on Aiden's room and getting that trampoline up as well for his birthday basically getting set for his birthday from like getting his like room sorted with his bunk bed like new furniture and like a rug and like storage areas and things like that and also some playtime as well so like the outdoorsy bits and then I'll get to other bits we have that office room next door where my husband is currently working whilst the little one is having a nap downstairs and basically once that's done I want to do the office <laughs> and then I'll probably sort out the decor here and in the living room as well but don't worry guys I'll share all of that with you there's going to be videos going up every week so make sure to tune in if you like this video please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of this kinds of videos plus loads of like toddler mum hacks um, as well as clean with me's and lots of fun vlogs too so yeah do hit that subscribe button and the bell button if you want to get notified and I'll see you guys next time thanks so much for watching and until next time bye <laughs>